I swear it is my full-time job just trying to find my phone. I feel like I ask some member of my family where my phone is at all times. I just, I can't keep track of it. Where did I put it? Aha! Please tell me I am not the only one that constantly loses their phone. I feel like the only conversations I have via text with Chris is just me just texting myself trying to find my own phone. It's, it's pretty sad. Hello everyone! I'm here today to share with you guys a new buy or buy. And today's is going to be all around a powdered lipstick. And I saw these on Sephora's website and I was like, say what? But I really wanted to test them out to see if they were actually any good. I have never tried a powdered formed lipstick, unless you count using eyeshadow and putting it on your lips, but I don't think that counts. And if you are new to my buyer buys, what I typically do is I will rate a product out of a, an emoji system of five emojis out of five or zero emojis out of five or whatever it is. And I always choose an emoji usually at the last minute, and I don't think these things through in advance. Why, why don't I plan anything? I will show you guys the product, how it swatches, how it wears with other products, how it wears throughout the day. I will update you guys on which products were, were my favorite, if there were any, or if they're worth the money, if they're not worth the money, all that fun stuff. If you wanna see more buyer buys, I will put the whole playlist in the uh, info bar below for you guys in case you are interested. And I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up so I know, and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Thursday. And without further ado, let's get into this. All right, for emojis today, we're gonna go classic. We're gonna do the kissy face emoji. And so I will rate them for you guys at the end and let you guys know if they are going to be a buy or a buy. So uh, let's let's get started, shall we? These are the Sephora Collection Lip Powders. They retail for $12 US or $15 Canadian. And they look like, they look like this little nifty contraption thing. So I've opened, apparently I've only opened two of them. I don't know why I only opened two of them, but let's let's just finish it up with the third one. They come in six different colors, ranging from, you know, like a pale gold to a really rusty red. They're described on the website as a lightweight powder that is supposed to give a soft matte metallic finish to the lips. It says here that the powders can be worn alone or on top of your favorite lipstick for enhanced luster. So you can, I'm going to test them out and see how they look on the different types of lipsticks that I have from really matte ones to cream to gloss, all that kind of stuff, just to see how they wear. And it has a targeted sponge tip applicator to it and I believe all of the product is actually in the lid which is kind of interesting instead of in the rest of it so you just like dip it back in to get some more product so upon opening it I just want to say right off the bat there has been no fallout which is really exciting because I was expecting to open it up and just like <laughs> powder everywhere the colors that I ended up purchasing we have gold it's natural and red hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by swatching each of these on the hand and then we're gonna look how they see on the lips and then we're going to put them over top of different products just to see how they look, how they wear, all that fun stuff. So let's start with the lightest and work our way to the darkest. So I'm gonna start with the gold one. I have to say these look very similar to an eyeshadow that was, I think Bare Minerals has them and they look identical to this with that sort of like sponge tip applicator thing. Yeah, it's bringing me back. It is very, very light in color as well as consistency. And as soon as I rub my hand over it, it seems to be all disappearing. <laughs> well, that doesn't bode well for a lip color. But again, I am only applying it just to the hand with no other product underneath. So um, maybe it'll be different when I layer it. I don't know. Now on to It's Natural. Oh, well, that's a pretty color. I like that. It has a nice bit of a gold undertone to it, which is super flattering. I feel like that's gonna look really, really nice on the lips. And whether I want to put it like all over the lips or maybe just focus it on the center to just create this uh, appearance of a fuller lip or something, I think that's really, really pretty. I like that so far. And now on to Red Hot. It is a little bit powdery when you apply it. I mean, it should be. It is a powder. But it's a lot more pink than I was expecting. Can you guys see that? Like, I don't know if it's just me here, but it just, it seems to be a lot more pink than red. And I'm getting like a little bit of fallout as well from the powder, like on my hand here. Uh, so 
yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful when I'm applying this to my face. They all, as stated, have that metallic finish to them. They are definitely more on the matte end of things, which would make sense since it's a powder, um, but that is how they look sort of on their own. I would say that my favorite is definitely It's Natural. I think that is going to look really, really pretty on the lips, and I'm excited to test that one out. The red just doesn't look that red to me, to be honest, and gold is like barely showing up on my hands, so I don't know. I might use that sort of in the, tap it into the center of the lip. That might look really pretty, but uh, as it is, not so much. So I'm gonna start and see what these look like just on their own on the lips. So I'm gonna zoom y'all in here for a second. Get in real super close. <laughs> really get to know each other. So I'm gonna start and see how it applies just on top of a lip balm. So this is the Body Shop <laughs> a Classic. Do you remember these? Yeah. I use this all the time. I'm thinking you probably need to have something on your lips so that the powder has something to adhere to, otherwise it's just going to just fall off which isn't what you're looking for. So I'll start with Gold Reserve. So that is using all of the product that was basically on this sponge and applying it to my lips. So it's a, <laughs> that is very subtle. I don't really see much of anything on my lips. I like a tiny bit of a gold sheen, like a little bit, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna try and just um, use my finger to sort of concentrate it on the center of the lip and see if that makes any difference. So this is the final result. You can see it is very, very subtle, probably going to be the most subtle of all the ones that I'm going to be trying today. In terms of how it feels on the lips, like I don't feel any um, powderiness or chalkiness in any way, shape, or form. When I was first applying it, I was worried it was going to look super chalky on the lips, but right now it has blended out quite nicely and uh, in just a nice subtle sheen. All right, let's wipe this off. I'm going around too. So now onto It's Natural. This is what it looks like on the lips. Again, very subtle. It has that little bit of a metallic pinky sort of a sheen to it. And I will say as I'm applying it, like not a lot stays on this sponge, which is a little bit annoying. And just like dipping it into the lid and pulling it out again, doesn't put anything on. Like you actually have to like twist on the lid and then like untwist it again if you want to get something a little bit more impactful on the lips. There's really just enough on this applicator to apply to the center of the lips just for uh, an added luster, but like all over the lips, not so much. So the color by itself, I don't know. I, I think it's nice. It's probably not something I would like go out of my way to buy though. So I'm curious how this looks paired with a lip color to see if that really makes a difference. If I'm just looking to add some like a metallic sheen to my lips, quite honestly, I'd probably just use an eyeshadow. All right, now let's test out Red Hot. So that is what the red one looks like all over the lips. And to be honest, that is the most watered down red I have ever seen. Definitely on the orangey tone too, not a very cool tone red, which I'm kind of disappointed with. I was hoping it was me more like a blue red. I like that the metallic sheen is there, but it's not too crazy so that it, it feels very wearable and you can build it and it's easy to apply. I, I would definitely not wear this by itself just cause I like, eh, it just, just doesn't do it for me, but I'm curious to see how this looks layered with a lipstick. So let's get into that now. Um, by themselves, I really honestly, I don't see anything super fabulous about them, but maybe they look different with some lipstick. So let's give that a shot. All right, so now we have a real red lipstick on. This is the uh, Smashbox Always On in the shade Boss. And I'm going to layer the red color on top and see if that makes a difference. So this is what it looks like by itself with nothing else on it. It is completely dried down. And then this is what it looks like after we have applied the red hot on top of the lipstick. Like it's pretty, it is subtle, it looks nice, but like couldn't I get the same effect from either buying a metallic lipstick or just putting eyeshadow on top. I guess the only issue is with the red one is that I don't have a red metallic eyeshadow. Let's see just like for curiosity's sake, what does it look like if I just put a little bit of like a metallic highlight on top? That doesn't look bad, right? Looks good. I like that. In fact, you know what? I like that better than, than the red one. All right, I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna put on a natural colored matte lip and I'm gonna do half with the lip powder and then half with the eyeshadow just to see does it look better? Does it wear better? Does it feel better on the lips? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I put on my matte liquid lipstick and on half of my lip, I put on a NARS eyeshadow and on the other side, I put on the Sephora color, It's Natural. So which, which side is which, can you guys tell? So this side has the eyeshadow and this side has the lip powder. And you can see like this side, you can definitely see the sheen. This side, like, I don't notice anything in comparison. Maybe it's different, like, on camera, but, like, 
in person, honestly, it doesn't look like anything other than just lightening up the lip color that I had on underneath. For the side that has the eyeshadow on it, I feel like you can see all the creases in my lips a little bit more obviously. I honestly, I don't see much of a sheen or anything on it, like at all. Just, oh, that's so disappointing because that was my favorite one. All right, we're gonna do one more test and I'm gonna put on a gloss. I'm gonna use Gold Reserve on top of that. We'll see what happens. All right, so that is the Gold Reserve patted on top of a lip gloss. This is um, the Coco K by uh, Kylie Cosmetics. Uh, I don't know. Like, is it just me? I don't see anything. Like, I get it. This is supposed to be subtle. The Gold Reserve is supposed to be just this nice sheer wash of metallic-ness, I guess. But I just... I, I don't see a difference for myself versus just doing a light hand with eyeshadow instead. And like the fact that like I'm not gonna put this right onto my lip gloss because it's just gonna get this covered in lip gloss, right? So I'm just patting it onto my finger anyway, which is what I would do with eyeshadow. So I don't know. I think this is just a glorified eyeshadow applicator for the lips. All right, so now that I've had a chance to try them all out, I wanna give you guys my emoji rating of how many uh, kissy lips out of five. And I'm gonna have to say, probably a good solid one and a half. The formula itself, while it's smooth, it doesn't feel tacky or gross on the lips or really crumbly, you can't really wear it by itself. But with another product, there's not as much of an impact as is needed to justify the price that you're paying for a product, you know? So for me, I just don't see the point. I think that you should definitely just go out and use one of your metallic eyeshadows that you may have, or you can get some really great ones from the drugstore, like Essence has them for like two bucks. And what I think they should do instead with these is in, like crank up the intensity and make it a multi-purpose stick. So something that is a powder you could apply to the eyes, to the cheekbones, to the lips, and make them more impactful, more metallic, and then you can control how impactful it is on the skin. So you can control how much you put on your finger or on the applicator itself and then apply it as needed. I think that would just be a better use because then you have so many different functions that you could use it for. And I think this is just a little bit too sheer for me to justify the price of it to apply as a highlight and for the eyes as well. Plus I feel like the applicator is gonna get super gunked up if I like apply it like this to the lips. Um, that I don't want to really apply it to the eyes or to the cheeks. So I think that messing around with that a little bit, I think that would be a really cool concept. But this by itself, I just don't see it. So this is definitely a buy for me. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more buy or buy type videos. And if you have any requests for products I should be testing out, put them in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you want to see more buy or buys, I will put the playlist down below for you guys as well as on the screen so you can check that out if you're interested. I hope you're all having an amazing, amazing week so far and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.